Why, hello there. It is I, the Cheesy Cat, and this is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As we're climbing and still have a shadow. Anyways, it would suck if it started raining right now, because I'm trying to climb this cliff. There's another guardian walk stalker over there. And it can see me. Nice picture though. I like that one better. Um, let's run though. Can't see us anymore. And it won't be able to follow us up the mountain. And it can see us. Okay, let's try and scale around this side. Okay. Um, what the? It can't come over here. What is it doing? That kind of scared me to be honest. <laughs> Okay, we just need to climb around this. Jeez, climbing climbing guardians. Just a pain. Um, let's go ahead and eat one of these to refill up our stamina since I just pooped my pants. No. <laughs> how did it how? Just how? I didn't think it could get up here. Jeez. I'm not about to fight another guardian again. Takes too long. But anyways, there we are. I guess that's not too high for it. Jeez. That was kind of funny though. <laughs> but anyways, there's our shrine. The one we marked, of course. And here's a enemy base. So let's get started with beating these people up. Perfect. I'm going to want to stealthily kill this guy fly into here and hide next up equip the very silent armor oh wow I could have got a high tail lizard get our arrows and whatnot And we'll want to kill this guy. As long as they're sleeping, they won't know what hit them. Exactly. And we get the treasure chest. So it's good to start finding these guys when they're asleep. Because it's like 10 times easier. As you just seen. Steal their steak too. But yes, that's... Look at how fast that was. We didn't have to do anything. And we get a luminous stone. That is slightly lame. Nothing under these stones. Nope. Just a waste of time. Gonna break these. Okay, and... There we go. That's how we do it. Get that arrow. Always got a... And... There we are. Awesome. Getting money out of this is the best part. Um, we'll want our climbing stuff again. Well, the only climbing we have is the headpiece, but... It's better than nothing. So we're getting pretty close to that shrine that I was speaking about in the last few videos. We'll come up to this area here with enemies, of course. Um, come at me. Die. But a cool thing we can see here is Cool Saflina, which is a new, a new item. Of course, we got it in our compendium. It's basically just cold resistance. Well, heat resistance, because whatever it is, is the opposite. So, resistance from the heat. And of course, here's another Korok seed. Should be easy enough. Bada boom. So you will want to get that cool Saflina if you want to resist the heat. 
And of course there is a variant for warm Saflina too, so at least I think that's how you sing it. Anyways, let's continue our journey as it starts freaking raining. Frustrations begin. Okay, we will slip, but we should make it and we're not going to make it. Of course it starts raining now, jeez. There's got to be an easier way to scale this. Just going to try to find another waypoint here as I bomb this away. Just rock salt flame. Yep. Oh, I shot down a whole tree. Can I can I turn it into wood? Yep. Huh! You can use bombs to make wood. Forget using uh axes. Jeez, well axes would be faster if you had like a ton of trees around you. But if you just need wood on the fly, what's the point of using axes? Alright, looks like this is the best way to get up the mountain while it's raining. We're going to want to scale it kind of sideways. Okay, we should be able to walk up here. Oh, it is cold. Well, we can start using our cold re resistance stuff, so yeah, why not, if that's all we got. Alright, so, yep, once you get high enough, it'll start getting chilly. So, probably the warm doublet would have been better for this, but I want to keep my defense. Can see something in the distance far distance that is Ferrosh which I'll get in the compendium real quick but we'll get a be better picture of him later if you can see his snaky self you can probably tell that he is a dragon and what what is this what's going on here Things like this always make me curious. S some kind of bowling thing? Oh. I guess you push the rock down in between the trees. And as long as it goes between the trees, you get the Korok seed. So yeah, way down there. Huh. That's a pretty easy Korok seed, so you just gotta be curious. So anyways, that's the one we marked, but there is one down here as well. Um, main problem, I want to be going to that one first to activate it. Now hopefully it stops raining soon. There are some ore deposits down over here, quite a bit quite a few so start blowing those up got some opal opal is pretty popular apparently did I literally just get just amber out of a rare ore deposit frustrating just frustrating give me diamond please opal I'll take it rock salt it's for food are we done raining yet? Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, it seems like there's an easier way to get there. I just have to go all the way around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. Basically. Because we're going to go around the mountain. Anything 
Is that another stone talus? Let's ignore that for now. Literally just fought one in the last video. Getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. Like we were in Zoro's domain. Then I was just like, we're going to get a little sidetracked here and go to get some shrines. And now I'm getting sidetracked beating up some bosses when I'm trying to get some shrines. How is this grass? You just never know these days. Alright, so we're pretty high up. You can see quite a lot from here. We're losing cold resistance, but we're high enough that we can... Well, actually, it's not cold, cold just yet, so let's, let's save it. Shrines from previous runs, and we're cold. Boom, warm doublet. Nope, don't, don't headbutt me, buddy. You don't want to headbutt me because you don't want to die. You do not want to die today. Anyways, we've made it to the shrine. She veneer. Let's see. Yeah, look at all of that. Zoro's domain way in the distance over there. Pretty awesome. Nice view up here. Probably a good place to tag some shrines if you missed them. Well, let's go ahead and activate this shrine. And we'll see some stuff about it. So this one's just a regular trial called Twin Memories. Now it has a stone slab, slab here. The shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. So basically a memory thing. Twin shrines. Whatever does that mean? So when you go up here, you'll see there is like a series of stuff series of activators and this is gonna look exactly like the other shrine except for where the orbs are located so here we don't know what the other shrine looks like because the, what the other shrine looks like is the solution to this shrine and this shrine is the solution to the other shrine so we're just going to use this little feature right here to cheat and get out of the shrine. So that's basically as easy as it is. As it is. <laughs> now I went to this top shrine first so I can activate it. So that when I drop down to this shrine and get the answer to the previous, I can just teleport right up there. She Venath. So obviously they're both she. They're both twins. You get it. Twin memories. So yep, this is the other shrine. And that slab will say the same exact thing. We're going to go up here. Let it take us above. And get a good picture of this. So, boom. Now we will get the answer to the from the previous shrine. Alrighty. So, I just looked at the picture. And the sequence, I remember, at least in my head, is two, which obviously they're a series of five, so two, four, one, then three, and then five. So second, third, first, thir second, fourth, first, third, and fifth. And that was the previous shine. And that's just in order from top row to bottom row. So I went from rows, top row. The first row is second. The second row is fourth. Third row is first. Blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. 
kind of just said 24135 in my head a few times and that was how I remembered it so once you remember that that's it um isn't there a chest in here treasure chest treasure chest where are you if it's behind there that's that's a bit mean that's so easy to miss and there's no special way to unlock it you just have to explore the shrine a tiny bit and there's no way to really see it you have to glide around to get to it Let's see what we get serpentine spear we can definitely take that to the compendium looks like a vicious sickle just a spear I wonder if it is like the vicious sickle just the spear though anyways shrine complete basically very easy and we already have the answer to the previous shrine so we'll teleport back there and solve that shrine alrighty we're back in Shivanir instead of Shivanath and the solution is five, four, I think, hold on, I might be wrong, I'm pretty sure it's five, one, no, I forgot already, I should have said it in my head like a rhythm, anyways, Pretty sure it's five, four, two, four, two, three, two. Incorrect. Maybe it was one. Derple. I'll be right back. I was close. I forgot to move this one. Five, one, two, four, two. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. There we are. And then it just took a quick a quick look of the capture. That's the best thing about that feature. Being able to capture the picture of your game makes everything so much nicer. And of course, being a twin shrine, we have a twin chest here. And in that chest is eightfold long blade. Of course, our inventory is full. Do I have a picture of this already? I hope so. I hope so. Let's see here. I, I'm pretty... I'm 100% sure now that I think about it. But I'm going to check anyway. Yep, Derek is... Derek is... Fort Lizzle Sphere is broken now. We want this... Edge this eightfold long blade look at that look at that beauty the match to the eightfold um, blade the regular one just looks so beautiful now with this weapon there's something very special about its charge attack when you charge it he does a side slash instead of the charge slash so pretty cool huh I like it like he's sheathing it from the side or something. Anyways, up the ladder. Same as the other shrine. Let's go ahead and get this shrine taken care of. And there's the other twin monk. Got five spirit orbs now. And now we're going to want to float down from these peaks right now look at three shrines in one spot isn't that crazy so while we're doing this little shrine run we are going to float back down to the stables I think I might be delayed by a few rocks I think maybe let's let's see oh 
Oh god, oh god, blind! You know what? We have the Zora armor now. Swim upward. Now we can climb any waterfall we like. Isn't that so cool? Oh, there's some rocks right there. Why why does he insist on falling? Are we just not allowed to swim in there? Oh, well, there's not even anything in there. Never mind. But there are these. Yep, going to just blow them up. Whatever risk it might take. And there they go. That's the risk I took. And that's the risk it'll be. This one too? Why not? And they fell in the water. Gosh darn it. That's so unfortunate. Why not grab some of these while I'm on the way down? Swift Violet. We already took a picture of it in other places here. Man, to lose, to just lose my whatchamacallit to a waterfall. Huh. And I got an opal and everything. Whatever. We're here to grab... Here we go. Climbing gear. Grab a horse and get going into another shrine that is actually nearby here. And I didn't realize it until I was watching my fiancé play, so I was just like, oh. So, looks like Guardian's the fastest. This guy has the most strength and stamina. Doesn't have that much strength. But I like his speed, so I'm going to take him because he's the fastest. Alright. Our beloved horse. Let's get it going. Did I ever take a picture of... I just got a... Yeah, I have. I don't know, I get so paranoid, you know? Cool. Free, free drumsticks for running them over with your horse. Okay. No, don't stop like that. Let's go. And then we're gonna go over this way. Really? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't know where he went, but... I guess he's gone now. Anyways, we're gonna continue on. Actually, we're gonna cross the bridge. Okay, that works. Of course we got keyses. Works for me. Give me all them key swings. We will need them to upgrade certain gear soon. If we get it. But as we're taking this way. I'm gonna leave my horse here. Have some enemies over here along with some other stuff. So we're gonna beat them up real quick. Some more horses over there. That, I believe, is Hayteno Tower. <laughs> oh, and he just burns to death. Okay. Let's grab his materials before he does. <laughs> And they were roasting base, so we can just steal all of those while we're at it. And steal their treasure, too. Ten arrows. Huh. Good thing I came over here. That was a real good pick. Restless Cricket for free, too. 
This is a good spot to go to. Can't believe I didn't explore it earlier. Anyways. Right here we have a pretty cool forest. And of course, monsters. And with a dark looking forest such as this, we're going into some dangerous territory here. There's a pile of bones over there, but first I want to get a picture of this guy. There we go. Why is he running away? Ooh. There's a blurp, blurp, a bloopy. Come on, dude. You're in a weird spot. Okay, he's running around like crazy. And he's still not dead. Oh, okay. Yep, no, I did not want to do that. There we go. Got the flick headshot the flick into the headshot and he gives raw gourmet meat that is the best meat you can find of the non chicken standard the non bird standard so that's your red meat and bird meats your white meat so yeah pretty cool looks like that bloopy is gone there's another bear over there if you want to kill him. But just needed him for the compendium. And we're gonna need this guy for the compendium too. It is nighttime, so when you walk up to him. No? No? Hello? Wake up, buddy. I guess not. Well. Not to spoiler it away, but during the night time, this pile of bones should come to life. And I say should, because I thought all enemies were just there. But this guy is not. He's asleep, still. Do we have to wait until midnight? Or do we have to be stronger in order for him to spawn? Well... Whatever. Stay there motionless and dead. Huh. Pathetic. Let's get this treasure chest right here. Purple rupee. I like it. We didn't need the bloopy at all. Maybe it's because it's too bright out. I don't know. But whatever. Kill these guys. Okay, just run into the wall. So the headshot should kill him instantly. And he also drops honey, so... That's an another cool thing. Dang, I'm kind of kind of sad that that didn't happen because I was looking forward to beating him up, but I guess never mind. Let's go ahead for the shrine then. And the shrine is over there. What do we have? Six bomb arrows. Not gonna want to waste my arrows. Of course. So the best thing we can do is this. Let it float into its spot. And grab my arrow real quick. And get out of here before I blow myself up. And there we are. We got the shrine. Toto Saw Shrine. And when we go in here... We have the apparatus. We gotta love these shrines, huh? The rotation. 
Yay, and there we go. Good enough for me. Not quite exactly perfection, but we get a shield of the mind's eye, and our shields are full. I didn't know my shields were full. Yeah, I guess that is pretty full. Um, we can leave that one here for now then. I guess we'll come back for it later. We'll run into a ton of better sh shields, so it's no problem. In this specific one, we'll want to make it so the staircase is kind of in the middle. And then also make it so that we're level to the next spot. So there you go. Close enough. Not quite perfect, but close enough. It gets us to the next area. I'm sure there's some people who can tass it to make it look exactly like it should if it was completely perfect. This one is just a mess. The lock, the shrine, the end of the shrine itself is locked. So you have to get that treasure chest first, but you have to like rotate it in such a crazy way. That your controller is just upside down and backwards and you have to figure out where you have to press B. Oh my gosh, it's just insane. <laughs> but yes, get the key first before you try to reach the shrine because you'll find yourself coming back and be like, ugh, have to rotate this whole thing again. Anyways, the staircase you'll want to have on that side and you'll want to match it up right there. There we go. That's close enough. Close enough for me. So we can just jump down here. Don't fall down. Climb up the stairs. And here we are. End of the shrine. And this is why you need the key to open the door. And you can go through. Finish the shrine. Boom. We got our spirit orb six all right now where are we Let's see hmm kind of curious there is one more shrine that I would like to go over hmm, that doesn't look right I think it might be there well let's go back to our horse and I'll see you in a moment now before I forget again up here there's this area here that you can shoot for a treasure chest. Bada boom. What is in it? Opal. Good enough for me. Opals are good. Why is my horse running away? Come back. Anyways, I'll see you guys back again while we're on the search for this other shrine. Hey. Do you know about the story of the warrior who fought here at Hort? Fort Heiteno. Huh. So a hundred years ago, we had these special warriors called champions. The warrior who fought here was supposedly one of them. I heard the others all died in a big fight. The warrior, though, some say he gave his life here too. But others think he went into a deep sleep to prepare to fight another day. Which means he's still alive, right? I wonder if I'll be around when he wakes up. I'd love to meet the guy. While exploring for the quest, I found this. We blow it up. Two treasure chests. Emblazoned shield. And... Opal. Oh, well look at this. And we got a little stone pebblet that we can take a picture of. He has a flower on him. How cute. To kill these guys, you just use bombs. Boom. Easy enough, right? 
It's kind of comedic how he flies away crazily. Oh, there's another one over here. Build them. What's this about? Oh, I, I think I know what's going on here. Boom, Korok Seed. We're just finding everyone, everything here. So this emblazoned shield here. I'm going to finally throw away that. It's something that I want just for the picture. This shield features a traditional design from Necluda. Combat capabilities aren't much better than the standard wooden shield. Found popularity for its design. So yeah, it has a cool design. But it's not something we'll use. We just need it for the compendium. That's all. Now... I think I'll be right back again because I'm trying to find the quest for this shrine. Mm. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Aww. I'm not wrong, am I? It must be around there. What are you up to? Ha! Let me guess. You caught wind of the great Dr. Callip's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him for yourself. Heh. <laughs> no, don't tell me you've never even heard of me after I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines. Well, you better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Callip, if you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Callip. Everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. Ah. And since you ask, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. I haven't time for idle chit chat. Mm -hmm. Soon my long years of research will be revealed, and all the world will hail it as a discovery of the century. To prevent any undue attention, I haven't even told my family about my work. You'll understand, I'm sure. Gotcha. The ancient writings are like a gauntlet laid before us from long dead civilizations, or if you prefer, they are love letters meant for the eyes of all archaeologists, archaeologists seduced by history. Do you see what I mean? Either way, it's a private matter between me and my relics. No room for laypersons. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. I want to know. Will you never cease pestering me? Call me by my proper title, blah blah blah. Busy deciphering ancient texts. Okay, so I guess we just had to call him Dr. Callet. Doctor. Did I just hear you call me Doctor? As in not merely Callet, but Dr. Callet? It rolled off your tongue so naturally. It was downright salivary. Hmm, this changes things. Very well. I'm feeling charitable, so I'll just let a few things spill. This is just between us, understand. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gates to purge the seal of the shrine, I'm still in the process of deciphering that one. So I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. That's my life in a nutshell, days filled with researching shrines and nights spent studying ancient texts. That leaves no time to converse with passing strangers, so very well. So we have to find the cursed statue. Where will this cursed statue be? Well, if we check our adventure log, nope, was that didn't do anything for us. Let's let's put it back on Divine Beast. <laughs> so, anyways, oh, well, I think I know where it is. Let's go, horsey. And there we go. So, if we continue along this road, we've been along this road before. Just had to wait till Dr. Callip came back from wherever he was. Obviously, at nighttime, he'll be home. So, if you take a left on this path right over here, you can see another shrine from this area. But when it is nighttime, there will be a creepy, creepy, creepy statue. Very creepy. Look at this. When I saw this, I was just like, S please stop. Game, stop scaring me. But anyway, all you have to do is shoot him. 
and the statue will die. Not only that, we have here a shrine. Beautiful. Another shrine to be had. And well, funny enough, we got some more monsters, but we're gonna run away from them for Cam Rug Shrine. And then we just go down there. Want an easy way to avoid monsters? Just go into a shrine. So there's this quite particular shrine that I also ran into while watching other people play. Um, main thing you want to do first, get rid of these. Huh, annoying. I was using stasis to get rid of them before, and I didn't realize they were made of metal, so... They're made of metal. Just to let you guys know. Get rid of them. Throw them out. Just don't let them be. Don't let them get you. So anyways, we're going to want to start climbing up this pretty soon. So that we can get this treasure box. And boom! Soldier's Spear. Um, we already have a picture of the Soldier's Spear, so I'm going to leave that here too. And what's cool about that particular block... Um, block... What's cool about that particular box, treasure chest, is that whichever level you're on is what kind of spear it'll be. So, Traveler Spear, if... I think Traveler Spear, maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Also, ignore those beams. They're there for I don't know what reason. Oh, dang. I forgot this chest. This chest this trust opal yeah we all want that anyways freeze time here oh god I did not mean to do that oh no I didn't mean to jump well looks like we're gonna have to be waiting anyways I guess I'll cut out to when I'm up there because this is pain painstaking I guess well maybe not look we're, we're gonna be there soon never mind I thought it'd take longer than that no we'll just show we'll just show the whole shrine here I was trying to be all cool and stuff trying to skip stuff oh god but we don't want to skip anything here I was also trying to speedrun there, but that didn't work either. We're gonna want to... Oh, yeah. We are failing bad right now. I guess we can't use that one. We gotta wait till this one is right here. <sighs> Darn it. I just hate that. As the chest stirs at me. Now we gotta wait for this one. Just watch as Link spins around in circles. As the whole map here just glares at me. I'm actually gonna freeze time for this because this is very annoying. Break this real quick. And then you go up here. And that's how you do it. Sheesh. Not that hard. Um, I also missed the stairs. I should have kept it frozen. So either way, just be sure not to hit any of these beams. Because you will get knocked down. Soldier spear right now in there. So it may upgrade to a knight spear later. Or whichever it's called. But anyways, that's the end of the shrine. A bit, a bit elongated there. That shouldn't have taken nearly as long as it did. And get another spirit orb. 
Alrighty. Now that we're back here, we got quite a few shrines flying around here. Don't you think? Anyways, let's see. We got Heiteno region. I'm just trying to see what's going on here. It looks like there's only one more shrine to really get. We're going to travel to this one though. Now we remember this shrine from Kaz. But the way we're going is right here. Sam's a plane. So I'll see you in a bit. And would you look at that? We already got sight of the shrine. As I'm being chased by monsters. Which is fine. Just gonna ignore them for now. Act like nothing, none of them exist. Grab some shrooms. A beetle flew away, but that's fine. So yeah, pretty easy shrine to find. Now there's just a, whoa. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, jeez. Don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. Diamond, yes! That is so perfect. I just didn't want to break it in a bad way, and then it just flies away. But we finally got a diamond from one of those. At least, maybe we have before. I just get too much bad luck. But we're going to try to skip the enemies, and we'll come back to the gu these guys later. Because this video is starting to get a bit long. Let's just finish the shrine first real fast. And look, Zoro's Domain. So close. But anyway. We want to be as high as possible. Oh shoot. Is that what I think that is? Yep, Black Lazolfos. Well, you can't tell he's black right now. That's a lot of HP right there. That's a good enough picture for me. Okay, we... We're about to break this shield. Oh, what the? You're gonna just lick me then? Um. Please. There you go. Okay, that shield is broken then. Maybe we should grab the shield of the mind's eye now. Oh, I'm using my eightfold blade. Don't want to do that. I want to do this. Okay, that's broken. Let's use this sword now. That, that shield is about to break now. Let's take that. And boom. Dead. Get some Lizalfos tails off these guys. But anyways... As I say, no enemy fighting, but that was a brand new enemy there. Not really brand new, it's just another Lizalfos. Now the thing about this area is all of the spikes. So yeah, we, we're not going to be able to skip that. We got to find out where these spikes end. Obviously, we got a bunch of Lavzolfos to deal with. But they can only follow us where the spikes go. They can't... Well, that's not very much. Let's just go ahead and go in. Ruko Mag. Oh, what? Cheat. Cheater. Anyways, this is just another trial. But basically here, the idea is five flames and we gotta play on that idea with more flames 
So, how do we get flames, you say? Well, we use this. So if we just put out that, yep, that's how we do it. So you are going to need fire arrows. And that should solve that problem. Okay, not what I wanted to happen. There we go. I didn't want that to happen either. Well, anyways, you will need fire arrows for sure to get that down and to get that down. Just two treasure chests. And when you get them down, you get an opal. And a silver bowl once again. So now we can really start using our silver bowl. Let's save our other bows for now. Because I'm pretty sure we have three of those now. So kind of have to use some puzzle thoughts here. Going to want to use this. Now the idea here is that you don't want to put out all of the flames. So this is going to come out like this. And now we have to turn this around. And keep turning it around to light up those flames. Boom. They're lit. Now... We turn this back this way. And there should be one there. One, two, three, four. Where's the fifth flames? Why is it called five flames? Let's just turn that that way. Turn this this way. Oh, there's only four. Why is it called five flames? Anyways, turn that over here. Just arrows all over the place. Oh, there are five flames. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Never mind. I'm dumb. Three on the box itself and two on the side. So yeah, you kind of just have to keep figuring out the puzzle until you get it right. Just don't let the water put out the fire. And that is our little bit of shrine rushing here. That's about it. We get our last spirit orb here from our little shrine rush and we're gonna end off the video right here so yeah that's pretty much it um we'll start off the next video by adding stuff to the compendium so we can start using them and that will be pretty much going back to Zoro's domain to start that dungeon ho ho excitement ensues anyways if you liked the video, which I hope you did, just hit that thumbs up, like the video, comment below if you have any suggestions or requests. Of course, I got 24 shrines done already. Look at all of that. Look at all those shrines just all over the place. Boom. That's probably a good amount of shrines to be doing this early. Um, it'll give you the best advantage in the game. I like stamina, so I will do s lots of stamina before I get to hearts. I don't really need the hearts anyways, and the game gives you a free chance to live before absolutely dying. So yeah, that's basically that. And then lastly, 
subscribe to the channel obviously we got more more videos like this to come Zelda is very very big game Breath of the Wild at least so yeah this is gonna take a while before we get anywhere but for the most part this is the cheesy cat now see you in the next video